What is a bodyguard? We tell our students that a bodyguard takes responsibility for somebody else's self-defense. That's a simple way of putting it. A bodyguard is involved in threat management. Um, but primarily that is being responsible for somebody else's self-defense. What is the IBA? Well, the International Bodyguard Association, of which we're both members, uh, was founded in December 1957 by Major Lucien Ott, who went on to form President de Gaulle's bodyguard teams. He formed it really as a association for bodyguards, but soon learned that, with, as with any profession, professional training was needed, and it was lacking. In fact, in many bodyguards, are, the vast majority, 90%, are untrained, and uh, they often take their leads from, you know, Hollywood television, uh, rather than realistic training as a response uh, to a problem, a given problem or a given threat. In what way is IBA's training different from uh, training offered by commercial companies? We're an association, we're there to represent our members. Um, our training is the same the worldwide. We cover an area from the United States through to the Pacific, from, uh, from Finland down to Australia and New Zealand. Um, we have over 50 nationalities now within the IBA. Um, we have at least 26 representative offices around the world. Uh, commercial companies are, are there to exploit, as far as we're concerned, commercial companies in varying standards from, from poor to good are there to exploit people who want to be bodyguards. They often they provide quickie solutions which are no solutions. The instant bodyguard, you know, add water and mix, one week, two week courses and a guy walks away with a diploma saying he's a bodyguard. We believe it takes at least two years minimum to form uh, an individual mature enough to be called a bodyguard who has the skills under his belt. Um, we always make the point that the basic bodyguard skills which are how a bodyguard provides self-defense for someone, that is, escort, protective driving, communications with electronic counter-surveillance, the search and recognition of improvised explosive devices, the close quarter battle skills from pistol down to, uh, from firearms down to unarmed combat, and finally paramedicine. Yes, I 
here again, drop down. This is the sweep from your left side to your right side. I mean sweep, you basically take your eyes right across it. You see anything hanging off, hanging on, dropped on the floor. Maybe this guy panicked when he was putting a device on and he's left tools or tape, clothing. Checking those springs and hinges. Lovely. Good fill, we're clear, we can now open up. Again, now checking for the engine. Battery, any wires coming off. The PGSM there, on just разбирает something вариант. I don't know. Stand by! Stand by! Fire! 